In this problem, we're given the function f of x equals 3x squared minus 12x minus 2. Well, what type of function are we given here? If you notice, the highest exponent on an x is a 2. That means I have a quadratic function, and when I graph it, I'm either going to get a parabola that opens up or down. Well, the first thing I need to find is if the function has a minimum or a maximum value. This is determined by whether the parabola opens up or down. So if I compare my parabola to f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, what is the value of a for my parabola? a is the coefficient of the x squared term, so it is 3 b is the coefficient of the x term, negative 12, and c is the constant term, so it is negative 2. The value of a determines if the parabola opens up or down. In our case, a is 3, that is greater than 0, it's a positive number, and if a is positive, the parabola will open up. So if I sketch my parabola, it's going to look something like this. And looking at that parabola, does it have a minimum or maximum value? Notice the graph does not go below this level here. Therefore, my graph has a minimum value. So in answer to part A, the answer is minimum. In part B, we need to find the minimum or maximum value and determine where it occurs. So remember, I'm finding the minimum value. The name of this point here, remember, this is the vertex of the parabola, and I need to find its x and y coordinates. Well, to find the x value of the vertex, you need to know a formula. x equals negative b over 2a. So in our case, it's the opposite of b is negative 12. So it's the opposite of negative 12 divided by 2 times a, which is 3. So the opposite of negative 12 is positive 12 divided by 2 times 3 is 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2. Please be careful, 2 is not the minimum value of the function. 2 is the x value where the minimum occurs. To find the minimum value of the function, we need the y value of the vertex, and we find that by plugging 2 in our function definition. So all I have to do is find f of 2. So I'm going to get 3 times x squared, so it's 3 times x in this case is 2, so 3 times 2 squared minus 12 times x, so 12 times 2 minus 2. So we do exponents first, so 2 squared is 4, so I get 3 times 4 minus 12 times 2 is 24 minus 2. 3 times 4 is 12 minus 24 minus 2. 12 minus 24 is negative 12. Negative 12 minus 2 is negative 14. So the minimum value of my function equals negative 14. And it occurs when x equals 2. As I'm running out of room, I need to go to the next slide. I've rewritten my function, and this is the information we already found. Our parabola opens up, it has a minimum value, and these are the coordinates of the vertex. So now I need to find the domain and the range. Remember, the domain are the x values, the range are the y values. Well, what is the domain? The nice thing is the domain of every single quadratic function 
is all real numbers. And how do we write that in interval notation? Parentheses, negative infinity, comma, infinity with a parentheses. So that is the domain of this function. I think you can see it from this little sketch. Looking at these arrows at the end, there's nothing stopping the graph going out to the left or the right. So the domain is all real numbers. But the range is not because there is no graph down here. To help find the range, I'm going to come up from negative infinity. Remember, range of the y values. There is no graph here, so I haven't touched the graph yet. And if I come up to here, this is the first point at which I touch the graph. And what is the y value? It is negative 14. So my range is going to start at negative 14. Since there's an actual point where y equals negative 14, I put square brackets on it. And then how far does the range go? It keeps going up and there's nothing stopping it going all the way up. So it will go to positive infinity, which you have to put a parenthesis on. So here is the range for this function.